So as you know, uh, I'm a pastor. I've been doing it now for about four months, loving it, loving my church, loving the people who are there, loving how uh, Christ has been leading. But what has been confusing to some uh, is when they find out that I'm actually still a student. So I've still had four credits to complete for my uh, Masters in Divinity. So it was enough, like I had finished enough for me to be able to leave like the physical, you know, building and be able to come down to Florida to start pastoring. But I've had four credits that I needed to finish up. Two in a class on the sanctuary, two credits there, and then two credits on a class for um, working with uh, and ministering to at-risk youth. And so I finished all of the papers for the class on at-risk youth. And last night, I finished basically everything except for three pages on my uh, class on the sanctuary. And then I'm done. It's finals week, Raquel is out there studying too. She has tests. So by today, I'm, I'm look at this, look. I am locking myself in the room because I'm very easily distracted. I'm gonna be done with my masters in a few hours. I'm gonna sit down, get it done, and be done, for real, done, done, for real. Uh, Saturday is the graduation. But I will be preaching. <laughs> I will be preaching at the time of my graduation. It's okay. It's recorded. I'll watch it later. But uh, let me show you around my little office, my home office setup. Check this out. Okay, so as you just saw behind me, this is the calendar with handwriting done by uh, my beautiful wife. Because if you all have ever seen my handwriting, you will know that there is no way that I wrote this out so pretty. All right, and then over here I have my desk. Um, was able to get this off of Amazon. It's one of those desks that goes up and down because sometimes I like to stand and work. Um, still a work in progress. I have some books and things over here and I want to hang that picture. Um, but I like it. I like coming in here, I close the door put some music on and I, I get some work done. <laughs> All right, let's get this paper done. Let's get this master's done. <sighs> I don't wanna do it though. <laughs> it's only three pages. It's only three pages. I got this. I can do it. I can do it. I've just been in school for so long. Like when you stop to think about it, pre-kindergarten all the way through a master's, I'd be good if I never had to write like another research paper ever again. But um, you know, you never know where the Lord's gonna lead next. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna stop goofing off and I'm actually gonna get this done. take a break to go eat and then I'm going to finish my last page I'm almost done almost done with my masters wow. let's go eat all right so Raquel and I have been doing this thing we're trying to eat a little more vegan all right uh, just for health reasons we feel like it's a little bit better for us so Raquel's been chefing it up in the kitchen. What do we got today, Raquel? Um, rice, beans with corn, cauliflower. Wow, wow. And 
tomato, and then some lime on the rice. Wow, look at this. Looks pretty good. So I kind of yeah. just made enough rice just for lunch. That's fine. All right, lunch was good. I'm gonna finish my paper now. I am estimating that I am 30 minutes away from finishing my masters. Wow, wow, wow. Let's do it. All right, let's get going. All right, I'm done. All I need to do is turn it in now. All right, there it is, submitted for grading. Woo. Monday, May 3rd at 1.35 p.m finish my masters now now I just gotta now I just gotta not fail the class and uh, be all set cool so wouldn't you know it I actually did not finish my masters on Monday you see what happened is there was this one class, my youth ministries class, that on the syllabus said that there was a final, like another, another paper. And uh, the thing is, we never heard about it, like from the beginning of the semester until now. And I don't know how classes are, the ones that you've taken or anything like that, but a lot of times these syllabi are really old, outdated, and professors don't really care to update them. And so I assumed that, <laughs> and that's the thing about assuming, don't do it. But I assumed, yeah, it's probably not that important, but I have a friend, Tony, who is also in this class and he emailed the professor. She's like, oh no, you do have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it. So I sent her an email too, just double checking like, hey, you know, it's already finals week. I turned in all my papers. Is there a final paper or not? Because it's, there's nothing to turn it in. She's like, oh yeah, let me open that for you. So I turned in another paper. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I already kind of like graduated in my mind. <laughs> so I really didn't want to do this paper. So probably not a paper I would ever want published or really ever want anyone reading. But now I'm done, right? So now I'm done. Today, uh, it's now Wednesday. I finished on Tuesday and uh, that's it, I'm done. I'm a full-fledged pastor now and I just got a call from uh, the organizing body of, of my denomination that instead of being the interim pastor here in Gainesville, Florida, I am now going to be the senior pastor uh, in Gainesville, Florida and that's, man, it's a blessing because Raquel and I really haven't had anywhere that we could like put roots in because even when we were up in Michigan you guys know we moved all the time this will be the first place that we live longer than one year listen I'm thankful for education and it's given me a lot obviously um, and there's like so many people that I want to thank along the way mentors and, and everything but I really want to stop and thank my parents um, for putting me through uh, Adventist Christian uh, education in a way it, it's 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 kind of raised me as well uh, I'm very thankful for them for that sacrifice that they've made and you know I'm thankful for uh, my church that paid for me to get my master's that was a huge blessing and I know it's not one that everyone gets and so um, I'm very grateful and I don't uh, I don't take that lightly just continue praying for Raquel and I this is really just the beginning 
it feels like a huge part of our life is over, but we're on the precipice of the rest of our lives. Our, I'm, so, I'm only 25 and um, I'm just excited. Like God has really blessed and guided and I can't wait to see what he does next. So before I end this video, I want to leave you with a verse that um, helped me a few times during uh, my education where there were multiple times that I wanted to quit and did not feel qualified or uh, able to get that degree. Um, it's out of Philippians 1 verse 6 and it says, and I am sure of this that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So for those of you who uh, just graduated as well, congratulations. Um, it's gonna be awesome to see what you do. And then for those of you who are kind of still in the trenches, so to speak, when you want to quit, just know, man, God brought you this far. He brought you through financial aid. He brought you through failing a class. He brought you through, you know, you being the first one in your family even to go to college. He brought you through so many different things. He's not going to let you fail now. He's going to see it through to completion. You got this. Study for your finals. <laughs> and uh, just trust in the Lord. Guys, I will see you next time. Be blessed. Go out and bless others. See ya.